Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God Almighty. Good morning to you all. Wherever you are, can you begin to bless the name of the Lord? This is another day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Anything that you want to be a testimony, put it on the altar. You have been praying about it. You have it in documented form, picture. Anything you want to be a testimony, you are praying over for a testimony, go now and gather them from your cupboard, from your wardrobe, bring them to the altar. Bring them to the altar. Bring them to the altar. Please stay muted. Stay muted, please. Stay muted. Stay muted. Bring them to the altar. Informer A, check your um, system. Stay muted, please. All right. Now, everything that you, I just heard a voice now, everything you want to be a testimony, bring them to the altar. You have come to the altar where God voice out solution. And this morning in the name that is above every name, solution, I come to certain matters, certain issues, certain issues. I'm seen in the realm of the spirit. This is a brother to some people. I see female in the family. Their brother is about to go through is having a health challenge. There's going to, it's like something that could look emergency, but I see God going to intervene. Please, everything that you want God to turn to a testimony, bring it to the altar now. Bring it to the altar now. Go to your table, go to your bedside, go to your wardrobe, anything you want God to turn to testimony, bring it to the altar now. And the Boroba Kashat. The Lord said, I want to lay my hands on them. The Lord wants to lay his hands on them and he wants to turn them to testimony. Somebody will receive a shocking surprise, a shocking testimony. Lord, I just give you praise. The Lord said to my spirit, I want to change medical report to a new one. Please, anybody, whether for yourself or your child, you have any medical report, bring it to the altar. Let God lay hands on it. And whatever you want, be saying it where you are, that this is what I want this medical report to change. Because God is going to give the perfect result. Yes, you are saying your own, but God is going to do his own. The best. I'm hearing him say so to me. And that is what God will do. Just put your faith together. Bring anything to your... You might think you are just with your phone seated there because we are all connected together. We are connected to an altar. Now, let me tell you something about altar. You yourself, you must understand that what you have a mobile altar. Remember, say our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So that means if your body is a temple where the Holy Ghost is, so the temple is where the altar is. You are a, you are a mobile altar. So anywhere there is a, a fellowship whereby God speaks and God transforms life, there's an altar there. So you have come to the altar of the voice of solution. And God told me, call it the voice of solution because I will be bringing the word that will bring solution. Everything you have brought before the prayer altar this morning, I don't know you and I don't know whatever it is. But there is, a, there is the one we are gathered here for, which is the Almighty God, that knoweth all things in all things. Whatever is that thing, let his hands come on it. He will begin to pray. Just watch it. He will lay hands on everything. They will, they will, what? There are a lot of things that is going to happen that is beyond prophecy. You can't explain everything that will happen. Prophecy is trying to explain what God wants to do. Bringing it to man's notice. Miracle has no way of being explained. He's just going to fix it, and you're just going to see it's done. There are going to be miracles over everything laid before the altar this morning. Everybody begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in the Spirit. 
shaku para pakadiba gete bakoro bakadia gaya bakoro bakadia gara bakoro bakadia gaya gada bakoro gara bakoro bakadia gaya bakoro bakadia kaza bakadaya obara bakadia kollo bara bakadia kaya bakoro bakadia kali kato bakadia kollo bara bakadia kaya bakoro bakadia kozu bara bakadia thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy ghost Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, I want to pray for um, Mr. Kelvin. I want to pray for you, sir. I just saw a word. Can you unmute yourself? I want to say a word over your life, sir. Is Mr. Kelvin in, on the platform? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be lifted high. Everybody, let's sing it. I be lifted high. I, oh Lord, be lifted high. For you are oh, only. Righteous and all of you, O Lord, believe that I sing it, believe that I believe that I, I believe that I, I O Lord. O oh Lord, be lifted up. For you are holy, for you are holy. Righteous and warm, righteous and worthy. O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Thank you. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor. I'm sorry, I, I have network issues. The thing keeps going on and off. All right. There's a word that the Lord just said to my spirit. I saw you as, as, as I was talking, as I was talking. I yes, saw sir. you. You were, they, it was like, you know, like when they, they, they were the um, chief of army staff. Um, chief of, that is the president, you know, when they wear the cloth and they were trying to de decorate the star and they put the cap, wow. you know, this is the kind of a thing I saw. You were a, a cloth was put on you, was hey. decorated. thank you, Lord. And I hear the Lord said to me, Now is the time. I don't know, I didn't hear beyond that. I saw the you being decorated, you were standing, you were being decorated, and, people, and, the, Lord, and the Lord said, Now is the time. I don't know whatever it is. Amen. But I decree Obarabakadia, Obarabahaya. And I saw a hand pour oil on your head. Then I asked, and the Lord said to me, my spirit, that I have anointed you for this. Mm, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. That there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing that can take this from you. Say it. Amen. Amen. I saw something that will happen ahead of time. Hey, is, thank you, Lord. This thank you, Jesus. Like, Lord, this is something I also see. Like when, like, this is the prime minister of a country. You have to go and share your mentor to the person. It was like that in several nations mm. of the earth, about seven of them. The people that are, the people that matter, there's a meeting together. There's a shake. I don't know whatever was famous. But whatever God will do with you, that will be sending you from one place to the other. That the people mm. that matter, you shake hands with them. I don't know whatever you discuss with them. That which you are anointed for, that God said the time is now from mm. today. Thank you, Lord. I command an opening. I command an activation. I command a manifestation. 
Kadiba. If it is you that have spoken, oh God, that now the time has come, then let certain things be set in motion from this Amen. 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 Set in Amen. Amen. Let it Amen. Be set in that Amen. You know something is in motion. In the name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank Bless you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a person. I thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Everybody right now begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't know if you're, I'm fired up to pray this morning. I want you to pray. The prayer I want you to pray, please. Everybody don't pray a normal prayer. If you're cooking, if you're preparing your kids for school, you're on the road, anywhere you are, you are seated. Can you pray it like you are praying, you are sweating inside out. Pray like you have never prayed before the way we want to pray this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Begin to, the Holy Ghost. Begin to there are certain prayers the Lord put in my spirit that we should pray. Because the prayer is the problems in the people in some people's life. It the answer prayer of certain people. It is what will bring the miracles. It is in the prayers. So prayer is where somebody's prophecy is. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Magada bakuri bakaya, egada bakuri bakasaya, hangara bakuri bakadiya, dada bakuri bakadiya, kaya bakuri bakadiya. Everything that is stopping your destiny from shining, stopping your star from shining, stopping your glory from rising. Today we condemn it. Today we arrest it. Today we arrest it. Today we arrest it. I pray for everybody on the prayer altar. Whatever has stopped you from shining beyond where you are, you are supposed to have gone too far. You are supposed to have gone beyond this. You are supposed to have expanded. You are supposed to have risen. You are supposed to have been blessed. I pray for you this morning. Any power that is strangulating your destiny, every power that is stagnating you, we command that power to lose its power, to lose its grip, to lose its hold over you right now, to lose its grip. Over you right now, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray the Holy Ghost. The first prayer we want to pray this morning, we want to deal with our strong man. We want to deal with the giant assigned to our destiny. Giant that is assigned to stop mega things happening. To stop major things happening. Giants that have been assigned to block mega breakthroughs in our destinies. We want to pull down the giants. Everybody has a giant to pull down. I want you to know, don't be afraid. Everybody has a strong man to contend with. I want you to contend with the home this morning. When David brought down a strong man, when David, when you bring down demons, like small, small demon, all these small, small messenger. You discover that like the kind of breakthrough that follows are small. You can't bring down a giant and not see massive breakthrough. Mm. Okay, let me ask you a question. When David killed, um, killed the lion, did you hear anything happen? He killed a lion. When he killed a bear, what happened? It was still localized. But he killed a strong man that was a, a strong man, he has been fighting from his youth. He has been a champion from his youth. That man was worth more than a lion and a bear. He was not just lion-like, he was more than a lion. He was, he, he was a strong man. He was a giant. So the day he killed Goliath, that was the day he saw a mega... Look, what you deal with determines the miracle you access. The kind of enemy you are able to break, you are able to deal with, determines the kind of breakthrough that follows. You can't deal with strong man and strong breakthrough does not come. The day that Goliath went down, that was the day it was said, look, the family of David will never pay us again in Israel. That was the day it was said, the daughter of the king should be given to him as wife. That was the day it was said, move now. And come and be with me in the walk in the palace in kingly affairs. Look, a boy that went with food for his brother, that they always live in the bush, he brought up everybody you are going to pray this morning. That strong man, that is the key to my major breakthrough. I pull you down today. Everybody begin to pray. There are certain major happenings that is supposed to happen in your life. You are desiring it every day. But you need to put down a strong man. 
begin to declare every strong man that is directly attached from the kingdom of darkness to my mega testimony. I pull you down. I conquer you today. Begin to pray right now. That giant. That is a sign to stop my tripper, to stop my document, that giant that has been assigned to Barabakadia, to block Madabakadia, that massive testimony I'm expecting. Marabakadia, for your Barabakadia, Arabakadahara, for your Bakadia, that to Bahadia, that Mendaba, Makadabaya, that giant assigned from the kingdom of darkness that is meant to stop Madabakadia, my Samuel. From coming, kaya katika polopo kodoya. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Agata baha, contend with the giant. We gather baha ya. We podo baha ya. Podo bara baha. We put down this giant. We put down this giant. We put down this giant. I put down my giant. I put down my giant. Open your mouth and pray. Say that strong man that have been assigned kodo bara baha ya against my marital settlement, against my marital settlement that is assigned with the assignment to make sure I will not marry. Even if I marry. I marry shamefully, I marry less. Open your mouth and pray. You're that strong man. I conquer you this day. I pull you down. And the rascal, Legarabasco, Sotobarasi, Ayagadabaso, Aligrabahoya, Gandaboso, Rabanabaha. He tere bagoria and la crossosa, Hayagarabosia, Rabacosubaya, Rabacasabaya, Angelico Subaya, Ngalabarabahadia, Kayako Suda, Kalabahorabaha, Kalikabahadia, Alikwakwasia, Rabababaya, Monzu Tabada, Ngoto Baraba, Kayakasubu, Rabacosoda, Alakwakodia, and Rabacadia, Mangatabahadia, Kayakatubaza, Opuyomat and pray, begin to conquer your own strong man. You have your strong man. Oparabahadia, say that strong man that is responsible for the delay of my major testimony. I pull you down. Say that the strong man that is on assignment to stop my major testimony. I bind you. You Oparabahada, die. Marabakadia. Lose your power, lose your grip, lose your hold. You, that strong man, receive double frustration, receive double frustration, receive double frustration, be frustrated. Everybody pray. It is the prayer that brings prophecy. When something is conquered, word comes. Everybody pray. Prophecy that comes in prayer is more powerful. Begin to pray right now. I conquer that strong man. I conquer that strong man. I conquer that strong man. That strong man that is directly responsible for the delay of my children, for the delay of my marriage, for the delay of my traveling, for the delay of my document, for the delay of my job. That strong man, I pull you down this morning. Ah, because Begin to put down that strong man. Begin to conquer that strong man. I pray for you this day. That strong man uh, that is blocking the testimonies of every point of contact you have brought to the altar this morning. We command that strong man to die. We command that strong man to come down. We command that strong man to come down. There is somebody here. I am seen. Please take note of my prophecy of this word right now. There is somebody. I saw a tree fell down. There is a strong man in your family. I call him strong man. He's strong man because he's powerful. They know him. There's a strong man in your family that will die. The Lord said, I should tell you, don't travel home. The Lord said, I should tell you, don't go home. Please, it's not a woman, it's a man. So they see him as a strong man. And this is a strong man. There's somebody here, don't go home. A strong man will go down. Don't be there. Everybody pray this prayer this morning. Declare the strong man attached to make sure I will not marry. 
the strong man attached to me to make sure that I will not stand. The strong man attached to me to make sure I will not go beyond this, to make sure that I will not go beyond this. The strong man attached to make sure that I will keep being stagnated. I will keep going slow, begin to decree. You that strong man, you're a liar. Your time is up in my life. Your assignment is up in my life. I bind that strong man. I chain you down. I bind that strong man. Oh, yeah, begin to declare. That strong man must go down. Begin to pray that prayer. That strong man must go down. That giant. That have been assigned wherever you are from to make sure that my life does not go beyond this point. To keep me small. That yes, Sataba, Matata, Moropakata, 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 Moropakata. We find that giant. I pray with you this morning. That giant in your life, that is the reason why you are small. Golo para bakadaya, elege de baro bakadaya, isa wakadi bakadaya, reke de bakadu bakadaya, kaya bakuru bakadaya, kita zopra di bakadaya. We bind that strong man in Jesus. We are going to pray it again. I remember sometimes I glad I was running a radio program, and in that radio program I focus on deliverance because one of the area I am able to 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 reach out to 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 operate in the ministry God has put in me in the prophetic is deliverance. When I go in that area, I'm able to use the prophetic gift to help people. Now, I actually did on that radio program deliverance. There was a pastor that called me. A guy called me here in Ghana, called my line, and he said, "I watched your. I just listened to your meeting, and then um, I wanted to pray for me. And I just put that thing. He says, "A pastor. He, he mentioned how his life is so miserable. How he cannot even do the calling. Is this and that and so on. He he's not even doing the work. He's living a life." So dejected. Then I told him, go. I, I asked him, have you ever done dry before? Uh, I've done before, well, I can try. I said, go and do seven days dry. Call me in seven days' time. I said, this is the prayer you pray. The strong man that does not want me to do ministry, to do my assignment, that strong man appear and that. So he, he went ahead because he doesn't know me before. He just wonder why I could have given that. He went to that prayers on the seventh day. This guy saw something in his dream he has never seen before. He saw a massive being. He hasn't seen some before. He saw a massive being, and that being told him that he is assigned to him. Abba. No wonder his life has been. When he told me, I said, that is your strong man. That is why you are complaining all those things you are complaining. And that being is in his family. I want you to pray. Any strong man, there are some strong men you, 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 you did not acquire them by yourself. You, you only inherited them. They are there in the family. They have the same assignment against everybody. I want you to pray. That strong man in my family that is assigned to make sure nobody rises beyond a level. That is meant to see that when somebody is trying to break certain bounds to checkmate the person, when somebody is trying to break through beyond a certain point to checkmate the person, I want you to come against strong man in the family that does not allow certain level of rising. Strong man in the family that is meant to checkmate my family. Open your mouth and pray. I don't know of others in your family, but you conquer that strong man today. Begin to pray right now. Begin to mention things that you know. These are limitations in my family. These are occurrences in my family. These are cycles. These, these are strange cycles in the family. I want you to begin to pray. There is nothing happening that devil does not assign a spirit to carry out. Begin to come against the strong man. That strong man in my family, that strong man in the family that is not wanting me to lift my head. That does not, I conquer that strong man now. Die, 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 die. Kondo bakazia, ragadi bakazia, moro bakodo bakaya, rabakata bakaya, makoto badaya, lakata bakadaya, kaya kata bakaya, robade kazia, ale kata bakazia, lakata bakadaya, rabakata bakodiya, abroso tuba, manta bakadiya, makata bakodiya. We begin to pray. Every strong man in families that does not allow certain kind of barubakadiya. That does not allow them to give back to boys. Even if they try to give back to male children in the family. There must be warfare, and the male children is not plenty. 
There are more of girls. There are more of girls. I'm seeing a family like that. Let that strong man be bound. Let that family be released. In the name of Jesus. That strong man in your family that does not allow male children to rise, that does not allow the firstborn to do well, that strong man in the family that does not allow peaceful marriage, good marriage with brother Ba, that make everybody make mistakes, we bind that strong man this morning. That strong man that is holding your papers, that is holding your moving forward, that is stopping you, we command that strong man to release you now. I command strong man in families, release people's marriage, release people's documents, release people's traveling, release their breakthrough, release their money, release their helpers, release what you are holding. We command strong man to be rather back at One good day, back at Release whatever you are holding that belongs to people today. We come against strong man in the name that is above every name. Let strong man be back. Let strong man be chained. Let their power over the destiny of men be broken this day. In the name of Jesus, be broken, 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 be broken. Paraska, Aya, Zozo, Kataba, Bozoda, Ekaba, Maya, Rosia, Ezada, Paliba, Paste, Paya, Zuzu, Zada, Bada, 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 Bada. I chain down the strong man that is meant to stop you. They will keep raging, but you will see you enter your miracle. I chained down strong man this morning. I chained them on the hands and on the feet. I chained them on the hand and on the feet. I chained them on the hand and on the feet. I chained them on the hand and on the feet. I chained them on the hand and on the feet. I kobara bakadia, kobu bade bakazi, zuzu bara bakadia, mazuzu kudu bakadia, raba bakadia. Kito barabakadia, shodo barabakadi, yako subakadia, magadabakadia, gayaka sebakoto, rekadibakaza, rabababaha, paru subakaya, gayaka tabakadia, magadabakadahara, paru bakadabada, strong man as sign of our marriages. We command you lose your grip. Strong man as sign of our fruitfulness. Release that fruitfulness. Release that fruitfulness. Release that fruitfulness. Release that fruitfulness. Eh, e kasha topa, e yako soso, e gaparaba, maza kwa taba, e garaba kuzuda, gale kwa kazia, ngalaba roba kaya, kaya kazozo, raba bababa, makada bakada, kaya bakuzoto, kaya bakuzoda, e galaba raba, mazuzuba, raba bababa, nekete bukuzia, makwati bakazia, kaya kate bakadia, kalo roba kadia, raba kadi bakaya. Everything held by strong man, we declare them release, we declare them release, we declare them release. Release. We declare them released. I command that this morning on the altar, everything held by strong man in your family, strong man assigned to you, strong man in any area of your life, whatever that strong man is holding, we command the strong man to release it. 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 In Zobarabakadia, and on Friday, something will be confirmed and totally approved in the name of Jesus. I command it to be released. 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 Let the hand of the strong man on anything that belongs to you be withdrawn to Today. Be withdrawn 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 today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Elia Susubaya, Era Gata Bakosa, and the Rabakosota, Kayaba Horabakasa, and Garabakoziba, Yakati Bakosia, and Grabibasa, Rabakadia. I still feel we should stay in this prayer. Everybody begin to pray. Any strong man in my office. Holding what is mine, release it by fire. Let's begin to attack every strong man, whatever they have, every form of strong man, the Rabakadiba. Let God take what is mine out of the hands of the strong man. Oh God, take what is mine out of the hands of the strong man. Take what is mine out of the hands of the strong man. Let them release my my virtues. Let them release what belongs to me now. Let them release what belongs to me now. Let them release what belongs to me now. Let them release. Mm. Oso bara bahaya, raka di bahaya, koro bahaya, kaya kada bahaya, raka di bahaya, koro bahaya, kara bahaya, kara bahaya, kaya bahaya, kolo bahaya, kaza bahaya, kara bahaya, kaya kada, koro bahaya, kaya kada, koro bahaya, koto bahaya, manza bahaya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Raka di bahaya, koro bahaya, kaya bahaya, kala bahaya, kala bahaya, kala bahaya, kozi bahaya. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Now, let me pray for Mrs. Pamela. Let me pray for you now. We're about to go into another prayer. We want to, there's a prayer the Holy Ghost that we should pray. And I want you to pray this next section of prayer very powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Is Mrs. Pamela Brun there? Yes, sir. I'm there, sir. I'm see, as, as prayer was going on, there was something I saw when we're dealing with strong man. Now, what I saw is that I was taken into about six, seven years ago. And I don't know if it was just a revelation or this was a dream life or this was in the spirit. I saw like a baby in your hand and I saw a strong, a strong being was dragging it. There was a, there was a, it was like a fight. They were dragging, they were dragging, they were dragging, it was a dragging, you were dragging, there was a dragging, you were dragging, there was a dragging, you were dragging, and there was a dragging. And I saw that this particular personality took this away from you. You could not drag and hold on to this. And that person took this away from you, and that vision was off. Hmm. Hmm. Are you are you getting me? Yes, sir. Now, I don't know, can you recall any time you remember somebody dragged something from you till they took it from you? And it was like, maybe you were, you were sad, you were crying, or whatever, but you were not happy. Yes, sir. Which year was that? It was 2006, 2006 2007. 2006, 2007. Yes, That's sir. That's, that's, a, that's a very lot of work. What was it exactly? I was praying for a child and God blessed me with a baby. And then I wanted to get my British citizenship. So both of them, I was praying for them and the thing came in my hand and me and the person was fighting, fighting, fighting until I became weak and they took it for me. So since what? then... I've tried to apply for my British citizenship. The first time I applied, they denied me. So okay, that hold, time, on. hold on, hold on. What was the, those things in your hand, the person dragged out? What were those? Two it things? Was my, like, the first one, like the document, and the other one was a child. A, a, so a girl, a, a girl, yes. yes. Okay, so you saw, I said seven. So, so I said seven, you know, we are not perfect in all these things. But you said it was 2007, right? Yes. Okay. Now, listen. I'm here to just tell you what God said to me now. God said, God showed me this scenario. And God said, as we are praying now, he said to me, look at what happened to this woman. And he hmm. said, an angel, listen to me, has brought a child right now. Amen. And the angel gave it to you. And this Amen. is the thing the Lord said, God Bahadia. And alongside with this child, I saw the angel brought. I'm seeing some book. There's a lot of, of attachment to it. Now listen, the Lord said I should tell you this morning. He said, go and look out for seven babies and bless them. Amen. That which the angel has brought to you today. The Lord has said to this. It yeah. is a, a combination of many things an angel brought for you. Yeah. Publish this word in our lives. Yeah. In the name of yeah. Jesus Christ. Look, and let me explain to you why they believe him. That was a strong man attached. Are you getting me? That was yeah. a strong man. It was because of this prayer that this thing came out. That was a strong man. But God has sent an angel to you. Amen. Yeah. Go and bless seven children. I don't think they can stop this one. It is set Amen. Away. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Young, young babies. Babies that they just give back. Go and bless seven, just seven. Okay, sir. And, and once you do that, what you have received right as we are praying now, it Amen. will manifest. I believe God. So shall God it be. You. Amen. It will be. God will Amen. confirm. God bless Amen. you. Yes, sir. Everybody, we are going to pray now. We are going to go to prayer. Now, let me tell you, behind everything, hear this very well before you pray. Hear this. Be behind everything that comes to you or that is taken from you, there's a voice. People listen. Listen to this prayer and pray. I want to pray very well. We are, I don't want, this is the area. Now, we want to pray. 
We want the voice of God to go forth into certain places. There are so many things you lost. There was a voice that spoke. Don't give him. Don't give her. Don't let her have it. The voice must first of all come from the dark realm and the voice must speak through men. Anything you see, you just see a man, all of a sudden, starts speaking against you negatively. Leave that man alone. Deal with the place it is coming from. Most of the things you see, when you also see a man you don't know from Adam, being nice to you, speaking well of you, how we help you. Don't be that man, no. The voice is coming from Elohim. Elohim has voiced it that you should be helped. So you must also always understand whatever you hear from men is coming from a realm. Most times those men are innocent or they are channeled, they are just used, but it's from a realm. If you're a spirit man, if you're a spirit person, learn to deal with everything around your life from the realm of the spirit. Now we want to pray. We look at when we look at when the, 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 the when Abimelech thought was to touch the wife of Abraham. He heard a voice that night. He said, if you touch him, you are, he said, in short, you are a dead man. Look at when Laban was pursuing after Joseph, after Jacob. He heard a voice. He said, don't harm him. Ah, sir, what? You see, look at the same Abimelech that was, that took Abraham as just his casual friend. The next morning, he had gone for him. Let him pray for you. Take a thousand it, it, the way people respond to you is by the voice speaking for you. Not this. Don't, don't disbelieve what I told you. Begin to control what is speaking and determine what is speaking and you see the way people respond. I want you to pray this morning. I begin to say, let the voice of God, the same way the voice of God is meant to stop any evil. Let that voice go and bring good. Let the voice of God go to the places where I'm expecting blessings. Go and order them to release it. Mm-hmm. How did God feed Elijah? Because Elijah, go to Zerafite. I have commanded a widow. The woman has heard my voice. Have you ever observed? Do you think it's because he's a prophet that somebody said, I have a last meal to eat and die? The woman heard a voice. A man is coming. Give him first. I want you to pray. Oh God, let your voice on my behalf. Let it go to where my miracle is. Command them to release it. I, I don't know where you need to send the voice tonight. Send the voice of God. Let the voice begin to speak for you. Men respond to the voice, the command they hear. I don't know any evil command that men has heard against you. We cancel that command. Now begin to send the voice of God. Begin to send the voice. Begin to send the voice. Begin to send the voice. Rabakozo, Ragazabahon, Regaziba, Rabakozo, Ragazada, Rabagozo, Elabakosia, Ayagazada, Raso, Elacasa Padaya, Ecoto Paracasa, Ecoto Paracasia, Egoyo Cotapis, Rabadica Sabahaya. Everybody pray that prayer. I said the voice of God. Everywhere you want the voice to go, mention that place now. Mention that place now. Mention that place now. Let the voice of God go to where my helpers are. Go to where my miracle is supposed to come. Let the voice of God go forth and bring it. Let the voice of God go to the camp of your enemies. And let that voice say, don't touch him. Don't harm him. Don't do any harm to her. Don't block that document. Don't block that breakthrough. Don't shoot that arrow. Let the voice of God begin to go to that place of the earth. Begin to go to that place of the earth. Begin to go to witchcraft covenant. Begin to go to all those strange places and begin to repeal them from doing you harm. Begin to begin to repeal them. Begin to repel them from doing you harm. Begin to block every evil that is coming. Let the voice of God begin to go to where your testimonies are waiting for you. Let the voice of God begin to go to where you are expecting great breakthrough. Let the voice of God begin to go to the places where they need to decide certain things about you. And let the voice of God begin to go into the heart of your helpers. And I pray this morning, let that voice begin to speak to them, begin to command them to release what belongs to you now. Let the voice begin to echo your name, echo your name, echo your name, echo your name, echo your name. Do it! Let the voice of God begin to go to, to systems 
companies, institutions, begin to go to embassies. Let the voice of God begin to go to all kinds of strange places today. There's somebody here. This your hand is shaking. Your hand really shaking. This thing happened to your father. This thing has happened to your father before. You are already expressing this in your health. I don't know whatever it is, but this Lord said to me, the spirit that is transferring sickness from one person to the other, God is arresting that spirit. That thing is reversed in your life now. Watch your body from, from days now to now. You will see that that thing will not do you again. I reverse it by the power of God. I reverse it. I command the spirit behind it. Go! If you go to hospital severally, they will not find a problem. The problem is a spirit. It's a transfer. It's an inheritance. I command that spirit to leave you. I command that spirit to leave you. And I command that condition to go on its own now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I pray the voice of God will go to wherever your testimonies are supposed to comfort. Let the voice of God go and begin to mention your name to places where they're supposed to help you. Let the voice of God go and mention your name in the places where they must help you. It is not a, it is not a wish. It's not a, it's not a begging. It's a command. We command embassies to release your document. We command any embassy of every country of your choice. We command them to release. We command them. We command them. We command them to release your good news. We command them to utter any evil they've done about you. Any negative thing they've written about you, we command them to reverse it again. We command them to review it again. We command them to review it again. We command them to review it again. We command them to bring a new one. It is a good news. I decree in the Rasusu, Resosotokopaya, Ikiti Topadaya. Let men hear the voice of God on your behalf. Let God, let the voice of God command men to do to you what you are expecting from God. Let the voice of God command system to release what God has for you. Let the voice of God begin to go into places, go into realms, go into the spirit, go into systems, go into the heart of men. Go forth and let that voice begin to counter whatever voice is speaking before. Let that voice begin to counter whatever voice is working for. Let that voice begin to counter a negative voice and let that voice begin to speak loud. I begin to back it up by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you have a testimony on the prayer altar, something, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to raise your thumb up so that you share with us. You share with us. Thank you, Father. Now, we want to pray two prayers. You get your communion and water. You get your communion and water. Pray a particular prayer. And then as we're going to pray this prayer, we are going, I'm going to round up with, with pray over everything. I don't know if you have things around your prayer altar now that you want God to touch. I don't know if you have things around there that you want God to touch, that these are the things you are believing God that his hands should be laid on. Because God said we should bring all things that is a point of contact to us, we should bring them to the prayer altar. Please, make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Please, if you have a testimony, something the Lord has done in your life, you would like to share with us. I would like you just raise your hand up there on the prayer altar. Just do that so that we can hear. Because when we hear like that, we're happy. Like, for instance, when I hear, like when I heard uh, those testimonies, I was happy as if I, I won jackpot. It's not really that I needed to be given anything for that testimony. I'm happy. And why am I happy? I said, God, thank you. Thank you. Do more. Now, when we testify of whatever God does in our life, you see, we, we have emptied our bow wells. We say, God, we have, thank you for this one. We need more. That's it. All right. So now, I believe God strongly this morning. I be, Look, I I'm, I'm fired up. I believe God strongly this morning that there are a lot of things you have put at your prayer altar. You're going to see straight testimony. This morning, you will see it. So as we're going to be listening to the testimony, I want you to get your communion and I will pray over water for those that will use whatever they are believing God for. I'll be praying over the water. So I want you to get that ready also. And I'm going to pray. The hands of God will come over that this thing. We'll follow. Tomorrow, we'll continue on this section of prayer. There has, I've not even touched the prayer that spirit but we'll continue we'll continue god bless you all right let's listen to peggy good morning sir how are you doing peggy fine thank you sir um mm -hmm. so it's a whole lot um i'm just testifying to god's faithfulness from the way i arrived for my trip um, to America and how God has just been faithful a lot that was going on he just kept showing up for me um, at every step and every point of the way 
you know, it just kept showing up because at times I would almost want to lose hope for some certain things and God would still show up strong. But then particularly last week, um, Wednesday and Thursday, I felt a lump, um, like, I don't know if I should call it a lump or something behind my head. It wasn't boil, like they would say, maybe you have a boil or something, but it wasn't any of that. It was something like from inside, felt like a growth and was painful. And I was really worried. I I kept feeling it. I didn't know what to do about it. I even complained to my friend and I told her. So during the video, I just, something just said after the communion was um, prayed on, I just carried it and I poured on that part of the head. I rubbed it there. Even when I was rubbing it, I felt that pain and I spoke to it and I said, I don't know where you came from because I cannot imagine myself going to the hospital here and all those drama and everything. I said, just go back. And somehow I prayed and I removed my mind off it and all. On Saturday into Sunday, I discovered that I was combing my hair and I didn't feel that pain again because it was that bad that I could feel it when I touched my head. I didn't feel it anymore. And when I got back from church yesterday, I said, okay, let me see, because I couldn't join the prayer yesterday because I was in church at that time. I just noticed that that pain was gone. And not just the pain, as I speak now, I, I placed my hand on it. That place is completely flat. The mm. pain is not there. The lump is not there. And this was just in a space of, let's say, 48 hours for wow. that pain to disappear. The lump, it is flat. As I speak, I'm holding it. It is flat. I can't even remember the spot where I felt that um, lump. Mm. I can't even remember it anymore. And it was quite big and was very painful. Wow. So I just realized that that pain is gone and that spot is flat. The water that I used as my communion, I poured it on that spot. And I took my anointing oil you prayed for some time ago. I applied it on it. I just spoke to it and it is gone. So I just wow. want to thank God. Wow. I just want to thank God. Yes, hallelujah. It was even water you used as your communion. It was water. That's what I always use. I just took it. When I was drinking it, something said, you're praying to, 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 to dissolve this pain. Why not apply it? So I just took some of my hand and I rubbed it there. I took my anointing oil, I rubbed it there. And I just said, I don't want to even remember you exist anymore. Mm. That was what I just said. I said, I don't even want to remember because that's how I've been speaking. Every time I'm having a situation, I'll just say, I don't even want to remember you exist. And I'll just apply it. I just want to testify because it's been a whole lot going on around me and I've been sharing with you personally and I just thank God for everything, the way God is showing up for me. And I know he will also continue to perfect everything just the way I have written my testimony long ago. I've been ticking them and I realized that this is exactly how I told God I wanted my um, testimony. You said we should practice and share. The way I wrote it, it's been going like that. So when this happened, so I just said, oh, I actually also wrote that I do not want to worry about my health in any way at all. And that's exactly how God has been doing it. Covenant keeping God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. For you, let me pray for you. As we're just talking now, this is what I saw. I saw that, yeah, but I saw you handed over, something was handed over to you. You were taking it. Amen. As we were taking it, I saw that the person handing over looked like a pure white or so. And as we're taking it, and the voice came to me about something coming more, you know, with supernatural speed, more fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I just said that as my prayer point just now. I said my my residency, I have not even put in for it, but even before I put in that, I'm already speaking. It will come with a speed that people will call my testimony a lie. And that was what I just said when you were praying. Amen. 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 It's established. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, I should tell you that I've anointed your feet. Look, you will begin to experience supernatural speed in so many events. Amen. 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 I decree that God has given you of health. Anytime the enemy shows up, the covenant will put the enemy to shame. 
Amen. Amen. Stop totally and permanently in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God bless you, sir. You. Very quickly, people of God, we thank God for that testimony, for that healing. Everyone who believes God for healing, God will heal you in every aspect of your life. God will heal your husband, your wife, your children, your siblings in Jesus' name. Get your communion quickly. Quickly, we're about to close because we are breaking into other time. Sorry, just four minutes away. We are going to close now. Quickly. Get your communion, get water. Everything you lay there, do you believe God? Do you believe God that God can touch it? I don't know what you wrote there. But let your testimony look like a lie. Even you yourself, you will doubt it. That is it really happening? I pray. Whatever you have presented at that prayer altar, that you say, this is what I want God to do. Oh God, from this altar, God of the voice of solution. Oh God, my father, the one who asks me, to start this, and you say, call it the voice of solution, that because I will send the voice, let solution come over these matters. If it is a crisis, if it's an issue that, oh, how do I go? Solution, come upon it. In the name of Jesus, solution is settled. Now, get your communion and pray this simple prayer. As I take the communion, the voice in the blood, go ahead and speak for my testimonies. As I take it, the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ begin to speak better, 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 and bring forth my testimony in Jesus' name. Say that. Say that as you're going to take the communion. You will, your miracles, every good thing you have desired and spoken out, this voice in the communion will go and bring it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will go and bring it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that prayer, it will go and bring it out. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. That water that you brought to the altar, it is no longer water. It has been converted to power. The blood of Jesus Christ is released inside. And don't forget how you use water on this altar. Plead the blood of Jesus 36 times. You are activating power. As you use it for anything, you will see the hand of God. In Jesus' name we pray. The communion you will take, the voice that will start speaking on your behalf, people will think you are doing duty because they will be forced, compelled to release what is yours. Systems will be forced to release it on that. Do all that kind of compression circumstances, on die pressurized circumstances by the hand of God. The voice of God will go to places you least expect and will release what is yours. So shall it be. Your good news is coming by the communion. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow. Prayer. Get ready for tomorrow's prayer and invite somebody. We're going to pray on another dimension. And I tell you, testimonies are coming. In Jesus' name we pray. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful time.